quadcopters are mechanically probably the easiest flying devices you can make. And what I mean by that is, if I were to take this chessboard and make it into a quadcopter, it would only take four motors on each corner, and that's about it. So I thought, hmm, how hard can it be to make a quadcopter of my own? And boy, was it anything but easy. Before soldering everything together, you might want to check for connections because this, I don't know, Chinese pieces of sheet are not too keen to work. So later on, you don't have to bang your head against the wall. As of right now, we have a blank canvas drone, and on the other hand, we have an Arduino, quite literally on the other hand. And we need to heat these two components together, together with some code. Yes, together, together with some code. We yoink that bitch into the sky, and hopefully it flies. At least that's the plan. And I'm very good at planning, as you may have noticed so far. I wasn't supposed to be doing a drone video, or I mean drone overall in the upcoming months because I've been having fun with some other project and yesterday the last piece of the puzzle of that other project arrived and I immediately fried it so basically <laughs> I had that last component for my project for about 20 minutes before it died and I was the one who killed it ah uh, so yeah I think I've said everything, I don't know. The reason why I'm not showing you my cool ass 20 hours worth of coding footage is not because no one gives a fuck but because that code is so garbage it's borderline embarrassing to even show it to anyone so yeah gone in vain I guess so here's the money shot I was talking about the whole time and I was lucky enough nothing major has really happened besides traumatizing my mother making her life flash before her eyes and I also might have made my dad worry a little bit till this day I still don't know what I did wrong though because at the moment I was holding the drone with my hand I actually thought my drone was auto leveling itself and that's the reason why I primarily let it go because I wanted I, I was expecting it to stay auto leveled in the air but it didn't because my code doesn't fucking work uh, later on I did use the flight controller from the job Brooking, which is the same guy that I watched four years ago, but I didn't know that he made his own flight controller. So that's the reason why I coded my own, and I was pretty confident in my code, as you can obviously tell. But I don't know, it didn't work. Nope. Mm hmm. 
My drone just started producing some weird ass ESC sounds and I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it. Yay. Well, of course they did. <laughs> to some of you, I might have caused some distress, most of you don't give a shit, but what I wanted to point out here is that if you zoom in, you can see the embodiment of immeasurable mortification and other disappointment. before we part our ways. Um, everything you'd ever need to recreate this project will be down in the description. Uh, all the videos I've used, all the articles and all that bullshit. And don't forget, it's not fun if everything is laid down for you. See ya!